Welcome back to the channel. I'm in the house, the garage house, uh, for some reason. I'm, for the next video, I didn't make a proper introduction and uh, I have to uh, work with the um, bad acoustic in the new garage, uh, especially with the uh, wood furnace. So here is the introduction for the next video. That's uh, one of the first projects I do here and not the last one, hopefully. Uh, the next project with this machine. Oh, you don't see the machine, eh? I show you the, the machine. That is the machine. Uh, it's a BRP Canon Defender H10. Um, my wife got that. <laughs> That's her machine. Uh, with the uh, glass windshield. And very convenient machine. Um, the idea for that machine is to uh, be able to move around the property, go for the chicken co-op, and maybe it's going to get some tasks for the wood logging season. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so projects on the machine, put those mirrors, lights, stick around. The idea for the UTV is to make sure that we can bring the dog along with, uh, with us. Um, this model is capable of uh, towing 2,500 pounds, which sh should provide enough uh, capacity for what we uh, need to do. Um, I'm thinking of maybe holding some wood with that, we'll see what it does. Anyways, I still have uh, the case, for sure. Um, the bed is really nice for that. So, uh, so oh, so you see a few uh, items. So I plan of uh, installing those lights on the roof so that you can see all around, pretty much like I did with the case. So whenever I go outside at night, I'm going to see all around. I still have to install the uh, license plate. I've got some mirror, side mirrors. We see what we can do with those. But I start that. Okay. Uh, the machine is uh, well equipped actually. I like that. So you have the shift lever, high and low drive. There's also the uh, handbrake, like so. Tilt steering, like so. Uh, there's the uh, cl the cluster is uh, all in the electronic. You can see um, electronic power steering, very easy to steer, very nice. I won't miss that on the case without power steering. One other thing is put that in. So that's the driving position. Um, I show you that on this side, this is the lights and this is the winch. Not so good because sometimes when you try to reach for the lights, you actually reach for the winch. And by the time you realize that it's not the lights, then the winch is already spinning the pool. Spool. Uh, on the other side, so you see there's one switch here and the other one is here. So this one is for the uh, four by four, will engage one time is going to engage. First, it's supposed to be okay. Smart lock is going to be four by four. Front differential lock, and the other is going to lock the back differential. Anyways, get the point. I 
I just don't know why they put that switch here instead of here all along together. I might move this one here and I'm going to put maybe hoof light horn to be there. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to uh, get in gear and start to dismantle a little bit that cluster so I can reach for the cables, the wires, the uh, electricity. we we'll see from there. Stick around. Okay, sorry for my dirty hands. We'll have to uh, live with. I always keep a good amount of um, supplies for the next project. I don't like into, to get into a project and missing stuff. Now, one trick about uh, running wires for lights. So that's a, a for extension cord actually. It's water resistant and it's uh, have UV in it. It's flexible and it have a very good covering and you still have three um, 14 gauge. Is that 14 gauge? 14 gauge, three wires. So obviously you have the, if that's for an ex extension cord, you have the black, white and green. That makes you like three supplies given that the uh, negative is on the, uh, on the prime. So it, uh, it's a very nice, it doesn't need to be covered, can be used as is. So that's what I've been using for the uh, lights. And now I have those uh, fuse block. I got two, one is for 10 circuits and this one is for four circuits. So most likely I'm going to use this one I got this one for the case um, whenever I'm going to redo the uh, wall wiring so that could make sense so I have some lights and anyways you know what I mean I'm going to use this one As I said, I always keep one set ahead of time. So I got this uh, 18 pieces ATC fuse kit. And this is one very old Exacto. My father will know what it is. should be just fine for now I have the horn and also the uh, auxiliary lights uh, 10 amps by 12 volt is going to provide 120 watts so this light kit very cheap light kit this is the one I have on the case and it's proved to, to be very reliable uh, 15 watts each 60 watts divided by 12, 5 amps. So with 5 amps, I can supply those four lights. I'm going to use two in the front, two in the back, and should be quite enough. So I'm going to run 10 amps. This cable is capable of uh, 15 amps easily. So I have that margin. Uh, this is where the uh, main bus bar is going to come in. I also have this setup that I'm going to use because I don't want to blow anything on the uh, ATV, uh, UTV side. I had to blow this one before anything happened. 
so I might be a little bit too prudent. Never kills any. 30 amps. Okay. So they will recognize this grease. Very hard to find on the web. Some kind of uh, silicon grease. So that's one basic light switch with the rubber here. Oh! <laughs> I use that instead. Proof LED light bar. <laughs> Can't ask for better. Okay. Use this for now. Just don't remember why I don't have any red wires. And the bar. At some point, uh, I make some work off camera because uh, there's no point showing you me uh, doing connections. Okay, here is the uh, so said hood. Um, there's the solenoid for the winch. It's a OEM uh, stuff there. I didn't install anything, it was already there. And I did open this uh, tender, let's say so. And I put the horn on this side. I run uh, the cable. So that's the horn here. Um, just small bracket, no, nothing uh, fancy. Um, I run the uh, cable here. It's uh, the cable I showed you here. I might use a tie wrap at some point here. So what is there is a um, metal mesh and a reason for that and it's glued with hot melt glue. The reason for that is that it's the perfect place for a hornet or wasp so they cannot go through so that's to product the horn and by the way this horn was in the case before I did change it for no good reason actually. Uh, the horn was good, the switch was bad. So I'm going to cover that, like so. By the way, I got this kit on Amazon. Comes with the uh, pliers, or the pry. So you've got all the required um, returners. So whenever you work on such machine, if there's one breaking, then you have some spare. I'm assuming this one is here. Yep. So I was wondering what was this curve? It looks like, uh, ooh, does it fit? So the answer is yes. Perfect fit here. I'm only missing some uh, straps. That's it.